What's up, Level Up family? I'm back here with another video for you guys. I just got empty from my morning load, and it took a little long, but that's okay. That typically always happens at that location. But I'm headed to pick up my next load, which delivers tonight at midnight. And I have an appointment that I gotta be there by 12 o'clock, and it's 10.45, and I'm about an hour away. So, I'm gonna hope that I can get there in time. Hopefully don't run into no traffic or nothing crazy like that, nothing that's gonna slow me down, because at this pickup, they have a late fee. If you're not there at your time, I think they give you probably 15 to 20 minute grace period, something like that. But if you're late, you know, you gotta pay a hundred dollar late fee. And I'm not trying to pay no hundred dollar late fee. So we about to hurry up and shoot down here. And I'ma bring y'all along with me. So y'all just ride along. So come on and follow. down here so I'm gonna hope that it's all right you know it's not bad today right. don't look too bad normally it'd be a whole bunch of trucks parked in the middle and just blocking all everything up but it don't look too bad it don't look too bad right here but I won't really know until I get inside and I check in and see how many trucks I got in front of me. Alright, let's change the driving shoes and get into walking shoes so we can go ahead and check in. Alright, so I got checked in and It don't seem like it's that many trucks in front of me. I think they said it's like three, so it's a good day down here. This is gonna be a good day. You know, we're gonna speak positive vibes. It's gonna be a good day because I came down here last one day last week and I wanna say I got here like 10.30 because I was told my appointment was at 11.30, but when I checked in, they told me my appointment was at 1.30, so the broker got the appointment wrong on the on the Raycon, you know, it probably was just a mistake. Somebody hit the one two times for the appointment time and and I didn't end up getting out of here until about 430. And it sucked because typically the way that the delivery is at 12, but they don't accept you only an hour early so i could get there at 11 but the line be so long so they start letting trucks in at 10 o'clock so i like to be out there around 10 o'clock so that i can get in the line because the line moves slow so by the time i get normally to the guard shack it's already around 11 so it'd be a no-brainer so for me to do that i gotta leave out my house probably like 8 8 30 you know so i got up came down here 10 30 in the morning didn't leave till 4.30. Of course, hit traffic come on the way going back to the yard. Uh, got to the house, 5.30, maybe 6, 8, showered, and it was time to go right back out the door. So we just going to hope that that's not this type of day. Because also, it's kind of slow there too with the delivery out there. So we just we just gonna hope that this tonight not gonna be a long night you know but like i said they say there's only three trucks in front of us so we're gonna hope for the best but while i got y'all here with me you know i just want to give y'all another update on what's going on with me and i feel like that i can tell y'all like exactly what's going on with me because y'all my family and you know and it's my the channel and i always want to give nothing but honesty on this channel you know i don't none of my videos i ever made a lie or i just put stuff out there just to get views or nothing like that you know 
I'm not that type of person. I'm out here to to learn and to work, to make money and everything that I'm learning, I'm bringing to you guys. But I, I got to admit that it is really starting to get a little tough on me right now. It's starting to get real tough on me. This load right here, you know, like I said, it delivers. It always picks up first thing in the morning and then it delivers at midnight. So that kind of takes me away from, you know, being at home at nighttime. And uh, which it's OK, but sometimes it, it gets to me and sometimes it can be a lot on the body because just like I said, you know, like the last time I didn't leave it to 430, got back to the house, had about two hours to relax and it had to be right back out on the truck. Then I'm out there and then you don't get empty till probably one, two o'clock. Well, you get you'll get empty right away, but you don't get your paperwork for some reason. It just takes so long for you to get your paperwork out there. I haven't learned why, but it just takes them forever. You get unloaded and then it takes about an hour and a half from you to get your paperwork. So typically I may get back in the house two, three o'clock in the morning. And I've been running this very frequently because that's the only thing that's out here. And it's the only thing that's kind of paying okay. You know, everything else, the rates suck right now. But I've been running this lane with this broker for a while, so I kind of got locked in on the rate. You know, it dropped a little bit, but it's not nothing that it's going to put me out of business or that's really going to hurt or, you know, it, it's okay. It's, it's okay, but it does get a little overwhelming because sometimes I don't want to do this load. I actually hate doing this load, you know, but... I got to do what I got to do. I got kids. I got a family. You know, I got bills. <laughs> got to pay for this. You know, business bills. So money can't stop. You know, so it's like I got to suck it up. I got to put my pride to the side and I got to do the type of loads that I hate doing. So that's one thing I want to share with you guys. And, you know, and I know everybody's going through it. You got some people that are doing just fine in trucking. I've been reading comments and all, and every, it's not everybody. Everybody is not hurting. Everybody's not struggling, you know. But me, the way that I jumped out here in the game, I jumped out here and just jumped in the water with the big fish, and I just learned the game. I didn't have nobody to teach me. Nobody in my family was a truck driver before me. So I am I think I might actually be the first person in my family who became own operator started their own trucking business so i really didn't have nobody to fall back on you know to get knowledge from like that so it was just youtube or talking on the phone to a couple homeboys that that had their license their cdls before me you know and just getting information from them and then just learning as i go and that's just what i've been doing and that's how i started this page and everything i learned i just put on the page so you know, I'm always giving y'all updates of what's been going on with me. And yeah, like I said, it, it is starting to get a little tough because I used to have, well, I still do got three frequent loads that I run, but the other two started to slow down in this lane typically picked up. And of course, the load that I hate picked up, but I got to be grateful. You know, I got to thank the man upstairs because the load that I hate is the load that pays the most. So I can't really complain. I hate doing it, but it pays the most. The other loads that I like doing that are just perfect, easy, straight through, no problems, they started to slow down. And I'm not really going to really progress too much off of them because they don't pay that much. But I was just doing them because they're easy loads. And it's really not much out here right now, you know, but... That's why I just wanted to put that in this video. You know, sometimes that you just got to do things that you don't want to do so that you can make the money that you need to make so that you can keep paying these bills because bills not going to wait on you. Bills is not going to wait on you. You can't call no bill collector up and oh yeah, well, trucking sucks right now. So I can't pay you right now. They ain't trying to hear that. They gonna be like, okay, rolls over the next month. And these bills just gonna start piling and piling and piling. We don't want that because then once you do that, then you too far in debt, and then you never gonna get out of debt. So I like to stay up on stuff, 
and like I always tell you on all my videos, never keep trucking as your end game or your only stream of income. Always work to try to find another income because trucking can slow down. Just like if it wasn't for this low picking up, this lane picking up, you know, I will only be working maybe two, three days a week or something like that. And that's not enough money to really pay all of my bills. I'd be able to pay some bills, but I wouldn't be able to pay all. So I would have to sit back and actually pick which bills is more important, you know, to pay first. And just the other ones, I, I, I get to them when I can get to them, you know. But, yeah, you just, you just gotta, you just gotta do, you just gotta do what you gotta do at this point in time. So if you out here struggling, just know that better times is coming just stay strong stay positive stay prayed up definitely always stay prayed up because the man upstairs is in control and he has already made your path we just gotta walk it and hard times build characters so stay strong better days are ahead also i wanted to mention to you guys that at one point i really felt like giving up i really felt like walking away from trucking you know i i did feel like that until before this picked up this lane picked up i definitely felt felt like walking away i felt like just trying to find a dealership that will buy the truck back and just find another a, another another way to go you know um but before i i always told myself but before i do that i will always try to lease on somewhere so i thought about it and i thought about leasing on to the port and i signed up for this one one port company and did everything i needed to do and then when i got to the last part where i had to t actually talk to like the manager it was just like the energy just coming from the manager just i it was something that i just didn't like you know, and it was, I really felt as though that that was an environment that I didn't want to be around. I didn't want to be in, you know, and it just didn't work out. And I was okay with it. It took a little bit because I was a little pumped about it because they, the numbers they were talking, it was good numbers and everything. And it was, they had some stuff that I wouldn't mind doing. And it was okay. And I felt like, all right. No better days really is ahead. But once I got on the phone and got to talking to the manager, once I got off the phone, it I was kind of in a in a down place. I was in I wouldn't say depressed, but I was semi depressed. You know, because once you be happy and you pumped about something, and it don't go the way that you wanted it to go, it's it's definitely sad. It's definitely a little depressing and all, but it's okay. It's all good because, like I said, the man upstairs is in control man upstairs is in control and that didn't work out for me and i just went back to the drawing board and i just started thinking of other opportunities what else can i do what other lanes you know can i work on whatever brokers can i call to see what's going on you know what what lows what anything I'm, i gotta make money you know and that's when this lane popped back up and this lane started going quite frequently so it's holding me over but at the same time, like I said, I hate this lane, but I got to do it because I need money. I got to make money and I'm still looking. I found another broker that, you know, if you follow me a while back, I used to have a contract with this one broker into Giants, the supermarket. So I found another broker that has that same contract, you know, with Giants and you know just just trying to shoot my shot just trying to put myself out there and you know praying on that hopefully that works if not you know we right back to the drum board again because i learned that this is something that is always a business that's going to be up and down it's going to be up and down you know so you can't always quit when times get hard you know, like I said, hard times build characters. So I realized that giving the truck back is not an option that I want to do. And 
I'm just gonna have to focus, you know? I'm really gonna have to focus and dial in and find stuff because it's stuff out here that you can do with the truck to make money and all, you know? You just gotta dig a little deeper. That's all, you just dig a little deeper and then grind. And y'all already know, y'all my family. So once I find it, I will not hesitate to put it out there and let y'all know so that y'all can get some money too because there's more than enough money out here for everybody to eat so never been that stingy type person whatever i learn whatever i go through all my experiences i'm always here to share with you guys you know so we just gonna keep praying that's it keep praying better days is ahead of us that's the end of this video i'm not gonna drag this video out too long since i just went on a little rampage and you know but I just wanted to just have that moment with you guys and just express on the things that's going on with me and my life and my experience right now in trucking. You know, if you having any down times, being a little depressed or just hard times, you know, in trucking and you want to talk about it, drop down in that comment section. You know, we can have a little conversation or if you want to do it privately, you know, you can hit me on Instagram. If you got Instagram, if not, you can hit me on you can email me. All of my information is in the description down below. And y'all just stay safe out there. Stay strong. Stay prayed up. You know, better days is ahead of us. If you know somebody that can benefit from this video, please don't hesitate to send to them. And y'all stay safe out there. And I'll catch y'all at the next video.